Hello, I'm Spencer Claydon and today I'd like to talk to you about the most versatile drill on the market, the Claydon Hybrid Drill. We offer the Claydon Hybrid Drill as both trailed and mounted formats. So many growers and agronomists would love to have multiple drills in the shed for the different situations that suit those drills. And what I would like to explain to you is how our drill is so adaptable to be able to do standard direct strip seeding right the way through to minimal disturbance drilling all using the same drill unit. Now if you come with me I will explain to you what the standard setup is and how it works. Claydon are renowned for their leading tine technique which features a leading tine which removes compaction, creates drainage and space for roots to grow and develop. The tine is depth adjustable by pulling a pin and sliding it up and down to the depth that you require. Behind the leading tine, we have an A blade, which places the seed in a band. And the seed is ejected through a boot at the back and spread across the width of the band that you are sowing. This is all interchangeable and I'll explain how we interchange it in just a moment. The trail drill which we're featuring here has front cutting discs. These come as standard on our trail drills and allow the customer to cut through straw, cover crops and high trash residues using the standard leading tine setup and are absolutely ideal for most situations where you have more residue. On the rear of the machine we have these paddle boards which push the soil back over between the rows and cover the seeded row. So effectively you would have a seeded row here, a space in between where it's not seeded and another seeded row here which would give you a band with our standard A blades on there 18 centimetres wide and a gap of around about 14 centimetres wide and another, another seeded row of 18 centimetres. On the rear we have a, a harrow for knocking the clod off and just making the field nice and level. Most of the drills that we sell go out with this standard setup on, on the leading tine, the seeding tine, the paddles and the harrows on the rear. Making this drill extremely good for drilling in extreme situations, both dry conditions where you need to bust through the compaction at the surface and lift some moisture from underneath and mix it with the seed and also wet conditions where you need to get the moisture away from the seeded zone. Those leading tines really do do a perfect job in either of those extremes and everything in between. The rear toolbar here can be changed for harrows and harrows or alternatively you could replace the harrows with press wheels for instance or any combination in which you wish to have on your drill. Now I'm going to explain to you about the points that we offer. Our points are very, very easily interchangeable. We have this special tool where we push the pin in, we knock it on the top with a hammer and it knocks the point off. You can change the points in literally seconds. The point on here at the moment is a seven centimeter wide band which would leave a 25 centimeter gap in between the seeded rows and this is typically used for spring beans, um, oilseed rape if you wish to have a larger gap in between the rows and it has a square boot on the back to deliver the seed which is as wide as the point. Simply knock this off and put on the A blades as we had on the machine which we just described or these thinner 14 centimeter A blades which have been used to establish the crop behind me in the wet conditions last year in 2019 autumn. With the standard time set up with the wide array blade there'd be slightly less gap in between those bands now however because they are established with these thinner bands there is a little bit more gap in between. The beauty about our strip seeding technique is that you're able to plant the seed in a nice wide band either 14 centimeters or 18 centimeters wide 
And this allows you then to go between those gaps with an inter-row hoe and remove any weeds mechanically, which is absolutely ideal at the moment given the situation with many chemicals running out of steam. It gives you a very, very clean crop at a very low cost. Also, you can knock this point off and replace it with this tine, which is ideal for putting winter beans deep into the ground at around about between 10 and 15 centimeters deep. To go behind this, we have a slotter boot, which slots the seed down there and puts it really nice and deep in the ground. To change the boot at the back, all you need to do is undo this one bolt slide out the attachment and replace with the other attachment. You can change over the point and the boot in less than a minute. You'll also notice on the setup here that we have this pipe here which can deliver the fertilizer if you've specified fertilizer on your machine behind the leading tine and underneath the seeding zone so the roots grow down to where the fertilizer is being placed. Alternatively, you can have the fertilizer delivered with the seed. This splitter plate here splits the fertilizer out and mixes it with the soil flow as it flows across the A blade. Alternatively, if you wish for this, this fertilizer to go down the pipe and go down into the channel, simply remove this plate and it delivers it down the channel and centralized where the tine has run. So it's very, very easy to, to, to adapt the drill and also to place fertilizer at the point of seeding, giving you an ability to reduce the application rate of fertilizers and give a good kickstart to the crops that you're allowed to place fertilizer with. Some customers will also wish to reduce the amount of disturbance um, when they're drilling into certain situations. And what we'd recommend is if you're drilling a cover crop, that you drill it with the leading tine in, you get a very, very good, strong and deep rooting structure. And then when you come back to drill the crop that you wish to uh, plant after the cover crop, that you adapt the drill and you put in our low disturbance leading cutting disc in place of the leading tine. It really is a simple, as pulling a pin, sliding this one out, and sliding this one in. So it allows you then to cut through and place the seed, and you choose the appropriate tool at the rear, depending on the crop that you're wishing to grow into the cover crop. It can be used into stubbles and can be used in many different situations as well, if your soils are of quality and are able to be zero till drilled into. We have requirements as well from customers to actually drill in traditional lines rather than a band. And we can offer that with our twin time low disturbance kit. This kit gives you a 15 centimeter space between the tines and delivers the seed into a two centimeter line rather than a band. And it is 15 centimeters between each point all the way across the drill. You can run this twin tine setup either with the leading tine in place as we have here or alternatively you can simply pull one pin, drop the tine out and replace with our double front cutting disc for ultra low disturbance. To change from the A blade on the rear and the C time. There's a U bolt and a singular bolt at the front. Uncouple the pipe, undo those bolts, slide this out, and then you can slide in this arrangement into the coupling at the back and attach with three bolts and reattach your seed and fertilizer pipes. So it really couldn't be simpler to change a standard mounted or trailed hybrid drill from being our standard leading tine setup with the A blade to being lower disturbance using the A blades or alternatively twin tine putting it in a traditional line finish 
either with the leading tine in and in many situations with traffic over fields and various things like that, soils can become run down, they can become firm and do need to have some aeration put into them. This tine allows you to put that air back into the soil and in situations where the soil is of ex excellent quality and is able to be minimal disturbance drilled into, you simply pull the pin and switch over and put in our twin cutting disc in the front. You'll notice that this one has our spira disc on here. Our spira disc creates a slightly wider channel beneath the tine behind it. It also does an excellent job of cutting through the trash in front of the tine. The tine clears any trash which is in the line as well and this means that there isn't any hairpinning happening. So you're able to drill in a low disturbance situation without hairpinning and having a nice amount of tilth which is perfect for the seed to grow into and all on our standard hybrid drill range. Now just over here I'd like to show you if I may the setup on the drill. This one is featuring our even less disturbance straight cutting disc which allows you to do the similar job of cutting through the trash and clearing the way for the time without moving quite so much soil as the fluted um, spira disc would do. The tines themselves are reinforced with a helper tine making them extremely stiff in the soil and allowing enough movement and for the tine to be lively so if any trash gathers on there it clears but the tine will go into very very hard soils. We were drilling earlier this month uh, in, Ju sorry, in July, uh, beginning of July whilst it was very dry into grass pastures which were pretty solid um, and the tine was doing an extremely good job of holding into place um, with uh, you know, a very good seed placement. On the rear of this tine you can see that we have a fertilizer boot there. So again if you have the twin tine kit you can deliver the fertilizer along with the seed and in the center here we have another point where you can place the hoses and you can deliver either the fertilizer or a companion crop if you have that additional seed hopper specified on your drill. So our drill allows you to have many drills in one for the different setups that you wish to achieve to attain your goals on your own farm and literally it takes a matter of minutes to change over any one of these items on the drill. The drills are kept into the ground very firmly as the depth wheels keep a constant depth with the seeding points and bring the soil to the seed rather than trying to track every lump and bump in the ground. We're finding that this really does give you the even establishment that you're looking for and it's putting it into moisture if you're drilling direct into the stubble with the huge cost saving benefits that you'll receive from direct drilling. So if you have any questions or wish to ask us about any of our kit, please get in contact with one of our territory managers or country managers or any of our dealers within our dealer network and we will do our best to help you to get the best setup that you're looking for for your drill. Thank you very much.